Rating profit beat estimates. What were the main contributing factors to this? Well, we're really executing on our strategy to deliver on our, our long-standing objective of a uh, 6% EBIT margin. And, and we're seeing really improving margin across our businesses with four of our, our business areas reporting over, over 7% margins. And it's a combination of, of really driving product mix, focusing on our, on our most competitive products and, and really driving those, uh, that sales growth in combination with really strong cost efficiency. And, and we're, we're really raising our focus on delivering um, on, on our cost objectives and, and seeing very good traction on that. And uh, this 6% operating profit margin target, how long is it going to take to reach that? Well, we're at 5.8% on a rolling 12-month basis. Actually, we are at 6.1% for the first uh, nine months. So we're, we're very close and to, to touching that objective. Tell us about the market developments both in Europe and the US. I know you see full-year Europe appliances market demand at about plus 1%, North American demand about plus three to four percent paint the picture of uh, what's happening in those two key markets right starting with with europe we see uh, quite solid demand in in most uh, markets except for for the uk and of course in emea we also have the middle east and african markets where we're, we're quite exposed to to egypt and the middle east which are not seeing very good development but outside of those two uh, geographies it's, it's it's a quite solid uh, demand picture and has been for a while, and we expect that to, to continue, given the good consumer confidence that we're seeing. Um, North America, we've, we've seen actually four years now of, of, of solid market growth, again driven by kind of a recovery from the, from the financial crisis, as well as growing employment, growing household and, and formation and, and, and construction. And we see that going on at a, at a lower pace, but also into the coming year. On the UK, which you cited as one of the non-strong areas of, of Europe, I mean, is this purely down to Brexit? I would, I would, I would guess so. Um, we're seeing, of course, um, uh, currency-based price increases, which, of course, has an impact on, on demand. We're also seeing some, some weakness on the construction side, which is an important business for us. Yeah. Mr. Samuelson, are you still there? I, I thought I might I'm have heard. Here, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. You are, you are still there. What about your small yes. appliances unit, vacuums, etc.? I mean, you've promised a string of product launches following the robotic vacuum. I mean, what will they be, these product launches, and how are they going to help you? Yeah, look, we, we are really a leader in, in vacuum cleaners, and, and we're recovering uh, that, that strong market position, with, really with, with, again, robotics, with uh, cordless, cordless and battery-driven products, strong focus on design, performance, uh, usability. So I think we're, we're really back to exploiting our really strong competence in that area.